Yeah. I'm doing this again. Oh, you can see my mouse. I don't like that. The reason why is... Oh, I just want to do it again. But you can play as Kane. And I'm so happy to play as Kane. It's actually like my fifth time in doing this. I'm kind of unexcited at this point. But I haven't done anything after this. So let's go. Let's do it. I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV right now. And I just want a set of armor that looks like Kane's. And they kind of have already had that. But well, they also have never given us, though. God, why are there red guys here? If I'm remembering correctly, the red guys are three sword hits to kill. Oh, they just check spear. That's fine. So you can actually get to the castle this way. Kind of which. Oh, right. I have the choice of changing that. Can I go in through there? Yeah. Oh. Shh. Damn it! Of course, th th that's not the story button. Um, I'm kind of disappointed that I got the swords so quickly. This is victory model, isn't it? Playing the game without the story is kind of interesting, so having it already is kind of like, yeah. Let's see here. Um, I think Kakariko is always the best first choice. Actually, with the sword, I can do most of Hyrule Castle. At least the lower part. God, this dragon armor is so cool. I just want this armor in Final Fantasy XIV. Like the cape and everything. I guess capes are harder to do in 3D, but I just want a cape. Yeah, I'm playing um, Link to the Past and Metroid Randomizer right now with Cameron. So playing the Link, uh, randomize it by myself. It's a little bit but the fact that randomize differently each time means that I, I probably won't gain experience for that run. Oh, wow. Nope, that's the wrong button. An annoying thing about uh, Link to the Past Metroid Randomizer is that the map button changes between the two. And, and I never seem to know where the map button is. It's just a cool sprite. Like, why would anyone want to play as anything besides this? And why do so few games have dragon armor in them? Is dragon armor not the coolest thing? After struggling so hard in Link to the Past, Metroid Randomizer. It's kind of a shame that this is so typical. I do think going Hyrule Castle first is a pretty optimal way to go if you don't go to Kakariko first. Kakariko has a lot of stuff in it. But, um, Hyrule Castle has very quick checks to it. I'd say don't do the castle itself. Oh my god. Uh, don't do the castle itself unless you have a way of attacking. <laughs> I love that. Now, I don't know if I can do the sewers or not. I can't remember. Th there's an option where the first time... Th okay. So if you're doing... The intro, you don't need the torch to get through the sewers. But if you're not, which I'm not, then you do need the torch. So I don't think I'll be able to get through the sewers. God, this model is so cool. Up and down especially. 
side to side with the hands there is kind of meh. It'll probably look better with a shield. The funny thing about the shield and these randomizers is that they're not helpful, but they're a nice visual upgrade. I like that sort of visual progression in my RPGs. In RPG, I want to be a different person at the end of the game than I was at the beginning of the game. I could get through this castle with just the hookshot. Hookshot's a great addition. We don't have it yet in our Link to the Past uh, Metroid randomizer. So we're kind of stuck. So I don't think I'll be able to get through this. I'm stuck. Okay. Uh, let's not do the castle anymore. Oh. Actually, no. Take it back. The sanctuary is another great place to be in. There's a very quick check in here. No, oh, not there. Oh! Oh! Okay. Um. I was kind of looking forward to having blue armor all this time, but this is pretty cool. I can check in the woods. I don't think there's anything north of me. The woods only really has one check in it. The mushroom. Nothing else to really get in here, I don't think. I remembered about that. Did you say anything? Ooh. Oh, I want the Ether Medallion. You can also get the mushroom, which is just bombs. I think I've looked it up, and there are 100 checks in. Um, in Super Metroid and 300 in Link to the Past. So if you're playing Link to the Past Zelda Randomizer, you're better off in exploring Link to the Past. God fucking damn it, how do you not get hit by that guy? Yeah, take my rubies, whatever. I've got everything I need. Yeah, you're better off checking Link to the Past because you need less to get it. And you have more options to choose from. It seems like everything in Super Metroid requires something. You're supposed to have the bombs and the Morph Ball, for instance. But just getting those is quite difficult in that randomizer. Yeah, first try. Magic powder, that's good. Boomerang, that's good. The boomerang is kind of obsolete once I have the uh, hook shot. Good, I can buy whatever's in the vendor. This place is definitely the first place you want to get to. It's a really good check. I don't remember to drop down here. Is 
you orb do? Oh, right, that keeps you um, untransformed. Yeah, see how many chests are in here? Any number of these could be anything. And of course, each time you get something that you don't want, it just means that, that the next thing that you do get will be good. Oh my god, I could get the uh, half magic if I just had the hammer. Can't really remember which one of these has good things in them. Need a flute for that. I don't think there's anything here. I think that's saying that Zoro's domain doesn't have anything for me. I'm still going to check it. Okay, that's nice. With the mail, I don't really need upgrades. Can't remember if that guy gives you anything or not. Um, I don't need health upgrades as much, because I basically have eight hearts worth of damage right now. It's always worth checking out because it has a, a free refill on bombs. If you have at least one bomb, definitely go in there. And whenever you're low on bombs, come back to there. Yeah. Shops aren't randomized, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, mini games are randomized. And the random mini game. I think it guarantees that you get what you want your first try. As it should. That random minigame is... Ugh. Don't think there's any reason to check out the blacksmith. If I had the hammer, I could get the half magic. I need the blacksmith's brother to get that. I don't think there's anything over there. Oh, the racing mini game. I can't get this yet, but I can at least check what to see what it is. Level two sword. Okay, that's worth coming back for then. Very much so, because that unlocks Upper Hyrule Castle. Oh, and you also need it for the Bamos tablets. Now, of course, that'll be the level 3 or level 4 sword if I get more sword upgrades. Okay, so I'm in a pretty good spot right now. I still have more checks to do. Um, I need to get into the dark world to do anything. No, I just need a shovel over there, right? One issue is that I've played Link Between Worlds so many times that I get confused between this game and that one. In that game, if you go up here, there's a treasure. But no, it's up to 
Oh, there is something up there. Dash boots, though. The dash boots are unfortunately something that's really good. And the game expects you to have it pretty early. It's not really necessary for anything besides a couple of checks. Let's see. Let's get this guy. That guy. Um, the stuff that you do need is luckily obtainable very early in the game. Just due to how the logic is laid out. And what that means is that stuff that you might want, like the shield or, or the boots, you might get them very late in the game. But it also means that, that in exchange, you could probably get the um, silver arrows or your armor upgrades very quickly. So how quickly I got this armor upgrade. Barely had time to kill anything for it. Ooh, Tainsmiths. So, that allows me to get into Death Mountain. I should, I should go east before I do anything. I can get into the desert and there's one check in there. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and ch check out that check while I'm here. It might be more efficient to come back here once I have the book so I can actually do the next le uh, that level. Just a fairy? Yeah. There's a rock over there that you can pick up, and there's a thief heading out in a cave. You can steal his 50 rupees and farm the that as much as you want if you want money. I think you get enough money just playing through this randomizer, though. I don't know if bomb and arrow upgrades are going to be randomized. I kind of prefer it when you do, because that means that there's a reason to check out the fairy in the first place. You don't say anything important, do you? You don't say anything important. And I love Link to the Past randomizer because... This first foray that you do, you always get something good. There's so many checks that you can do at the beginning of the game that get you so many good things. I'm pretty well loaded right now. I don't even remember what I got when I gave. I can't do any dungeons yet, though. Um, it's looking like I have to explore Death Mountain, which I'm completely fine with. I prefer exploring as much as I can before I even do the first dungeon. Not there. Maybe that's a dark world or something. God, I want a shield. Always play, at least when you're new, always play with a spoiler. Um, it's not worth getting stuck and just not knowing what to do. If you know that, that you need an item and you don't know how to, ooh, how to proceed. Oh! Oh my. God, I got such a good haul. Um, I don't know what I can do with that, but it'll you know, make things easier for me at least. Like, there's a lot of puzzles where I can just plop down a uh, a block. Yeah, see how many awesome things I got before even I do the first level. Oh no. Um, in the Metroid Link to the Past randomizer, 
I got a lot of 300 rupee uh, upgrades. I think some randomizers don't randomize everything in them, like... Ooh, I don't even remember this. Uh, okay, that's why I don't remember it. That's cute. I can't remember what I was saying, I'm sorry. I was going to down a road, and uh, I'll never know what that road is. We can get the gold bee over on the right. Fuck! Alright. This is such a good haul. Like, oh my god, this is such a good haul. Um, okay. The explorer is all the river. I can check the under the bridge now. Um, so no reason to, to visit the old woman, the, uh, witch. I need a mushroom for her. Uh, I can't buy the... the flippers without 500 rupees. I don't think I can explore any dungeons yet. I can get to level 1 and do most of it, but I can't complete it without the bow. I need the book to get through the desert. I've... I've got the hook shot, but I think I need the hammer in order to do... Um, Death Mountain the level there. Oh, I could just buy them. Well, that's not important, but I'll come back to it for sure. Okay. I do need a fairy. I came here for the check in the, um, under the bridge, though. The, uh, Metroid randomizer we did was terrible, though. We didn't get anything before we were supposed to have them, unless it was like a little bit before. Like, we got the plasma beam in Meridia. So it wasn't really all that, that much better. Okay, what do you got for me? Oh. Okay. So I can do Hero Castle? Let's see, I still don't think it's worth um, going to the flipper place. I can do Hyrule Castle, as I just said. I can't get back from Hyrule Castle, so maybe venturing into the Dark World not that great. Yeah, I'm gonna try Death Mountain. Look at all this! Got so much stuff! I can pick you up! Can't bash that. This. Oh. A Tyro Castle. Okay, this might be good anyway, though. Because, um... Sometimes you get locked behind a door and you need a key. This might have a key for you. This would be a really good check. Yeah, there's a key. Oh my god! I can go backwards, but I don't think I can see. I 
may as well ch check that out then. No, I've established I can't see. So I won't explore that until I have the lamp. And I love how the lamp, something that you get at the beginning of the game, is just as important as any other item that you get in this. I can never remember which one's right here. What they do in normal randomizers is that when you go through there, it acts like you have the lamp, even though you don't. But any other spots, you need the lamp to see. I don't know how they code that. Yeah, so I can do level 2. Um, kind of... I uh, didn't need that for anything, but I can do, uh... Tr tr turtle Rock. Can't get to Turtle Rock, but I can do it. The more dungeons I can do, the better for me. Each dungeon that you can that you can do with full checks is gonna be good. Anything in here? Anything up there? Nothing in here. I don't think I checked this with Cameron. Okay. That, that at least tells me that I don't need to drop down the, uh, the tree. Oh, those guys look so doofy compared to everyone else in this game. Not many people look good, but at least they don't look that doofy. What's going on? Okay, that's a problem. I can't get to Death Mountain. I don't have the lamp. Okay, so I can start level one. I'm gonna check Zora River. I don't have nearly enough ruby to do anything there, but I can at the very least check it. do most of level one. I just can't complete it. And the further we get in the spot that we can't complete, um, the more likely we are to get something that we need to continue. So I can do Hyrule Castle and then do level two in Dark World. I don't think you need a hammer in there or anything. If I go into the dark world, I'm going to be stuck in the dark world. So I want to do as many checks as I can in the light world as I can. It kind of sucks in games when there's a dark world and a light world, and the dark world looks cool and mysterious. Oh, come on. And the light world is just a world. I want games where the light world is just as dark and mysterious as the dark world. Yeah, you, you need a mushroom to do anything with that. I'm not sure how much I can explore here without the money. Can't get back without the flippers. Good thing I can save and quit. Um, I think save and quit will always start you off in the pyramid if you go into the dark world. Okay. Check out these two guys. Awesome. I don't know exactly how this is going to work. Just chests. I like that. Especially considering how long health I am. Can I do that again? Why you come in here and pretend like you have something this fountain wants? Come back with bottles. Okay. I 
kind of prefer the logic where each dungeon you go into has something important for you. I don't think I'm getting that, because I've got way too many good items already. Anyway, that's not good, but I'm going for it anyway. No reason to talk to the Zora. So let's say we do level 1, as much as we can, and then we do Upper Hyrule Castle. Uh, let's go down the river, I think there might be a couple of caves there. That heart, heart piece is one that I miss in often in, in the original game. There, I'm back. And also teleport. Uh, that just takes me back down to the lake. I don't need that. I need to explore this here. Oh, you can just jump down here. Okay, so you don't get caught. Is that Dark World only? That's probably Dark World only. Well, if I'm stuck in the Dark World, I am pretty well equipped for it. I don't have very many hearts, but I have the mail. I've got the hookshot. That allows me to check out most of the Dark World, in fact. Is really not something? Okay. Wasting everyone's time, then. Yeah, let's do level one. And yeah, if you if you're playing through this game yourself, uh, 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 always play with a spoiler. Don't go straight to where the item you need is. Um, like, unless you're really new to Link to the Past. I do actually need this. I, if you need the extra help, that's fine. Don't we'll worry about it. You're not playing an inferior game because we're doing that. Randomizers are played, meant to be played over and over and over again. Link to the Past is so fun, it's worth playing all those times. I don't think there's anything over there. Ah, oh, god damn it. I can farm up some rubies and do Zora's Domain again. Oh, I should check with Sahasrila. There's a couple of checks there. I don't always remember where all the checks are. When you're playing... If you've mastered the original game... Like, yeah, it makes the randomizer easier because you know where everything is. But you also kind of forget where a couple of things are. What the hell is this? Okay. Let's catch one. Hasrallah first, there's a lot of stuff you can get get in there. If I can guarantee that I can do the dungeon and then uh, come back, that'd be better. Is there any chance you can get with a hook shot done? Like I'm right next to the start of the dungeon. But I'd rather have whatever is, is in Sahasrallah's house before I do it. If there's a bow and arrow in Sahasrallah's house, then that'll make that dungeon way better. Got a bomb, just 
use it there. You can also use the dash boots, which he gives you. Base game, just bombs, just arrows, just some money. Okay. Well, I don't know that I'll be able to complete the Eastern Palace. If the, the bow's there, that's going to be a coincidence. But I'm, but, I'm, but I'm running out of options, and I may have to go into the dark one. Yeah, a cool th thing about these randomizers is that you might um, get a bunch of cool stuff, but still realize that you have something that you still need. You get everything that you want and nothing that you need. It's, it's really cool. I love having the level 2 sword and not be able to complete any of the Light World dungeons. There's no reason to go in any of the ones, right? God, I love this armor. But I'd rather be blue. It's still cool. Okay, that's nice. I think the seed that we're doing for Zelda Metroid it still has the keys where they're supposed to be, and it's not as fun. I guess the dungeons are better if you do it the way it's supposed to be done. But you know, sometimes you just want to break things. There's a couple of randomizers that just give you everything you need to play through the game quickly, and that's not necessarily more fun. Okay, and another bottle, this one with the uh, potion. And again, I don't know if the if there's multiple good items in each dungeon or just one. I prefer it when there's one guaranteed item in a dungeon, I think. I want my foray, in, foray in, into a dungeon to, to mean something. Come on. You can't dodge these soybeans. You're pretty close to affording those. Uh, Peppers. Might be worth... Okay. So, no matter what, the shield is going to be in Turtle Rock. I guess the shield is the least important upgrade, so that may as well be in the last dungeon. Nope, 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 nope. Hey. What the hell? Crap. Fuck! To go all the way back there now. Most of the Eastern Palace, but not all of it. Not all that I can do, at least. I do have to come back with the lantern. Where's the entrance? Uh, 
Still got the fairy. Still got that heal room I can go to. Better to have the mail than hearts. First of all, because you get effective health way more quickly with, with mail than with hearts. If you have just three hearts, then getting mail is an effective three hearts, which right off the bat. Then every heart on top of that is an extra t two hearts. That's true no matter what mail you have. I can go up here. Do we have the key? Why did it work that time and not the other time? Okay, so... That was a waste of time. I think I'm out of options now. Farm for rupees, and then do Zora's domain. Is that worth it for one check? I'll come back to that one. Let's go into in into the dark world. Actually, this has been going long, so I'm going to cut the story here.